just a few moments. We'll be back and ready for action. Good afternoon and welcome to a midday edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you're enjoying the weekend so far. Alongside Grant Hill and Brent Berry, I'm Brian Anderson. Also with us tonight, our reporter, Ali LaForce. So the opening lineup for the Timberwolves, they have their two big men out there, Towns and Gobert, working inside. Then it's MP, then there's Anthony Edwards, and it's Hood Shafino in at the point guard position. And for Atlanta, Murray the two, and Griffin the three. Clint Capella out there with Johnson, and it's Young in at the point. Now, we're early in the season, but some teams are really struggling. Brent, is it too early to hit the panic button? Well, for most teams, absolutely. you got to let your guys gel and figure out their role. Building teams takes time. But, B.A., there are a few teams that might want to hammer that panic button. MP against Griffin. MP inside. And a miss layup. Griffin against MP. And the foul called on MP. That's his first foul. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. Outside Johnson. Pass to Griffin. Now here's Capella. And Gobert with a block. MP looking around. Oh, another miss by MP. And so it's Young with it. He brings it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Offline with a three. MP inside. Covered by Johnson. Again, MP missing. To the wing on the left. And there's Young. That's good. On the assist from Griffin. Well, Trey Young's dangerous because he's got that confidence and he's ready to shoot anytime he gets it. Here's MP, and he banks in the layup. And the lid's off. Uh, they're one for four to begin this one, but that shot might just get them going. Outside Young. Murray passes to Capella. Rejected! Well, Rudy loves erasing shots. Every chance he gets, he'll take a swipe at you. Here's MP. It falls. He's now 2 of 5 from the field. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. He'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position. Plenty of space. Just clanked it. And Minnesota again with a bucket. I like the attacking mindset from MP. He gets deep inside there, and then he gets to work. And the Hawks call time here. This game against Minnesota is the first time they've met this year. And they dominated this team last season. Big difference in talent level. And here's a guy who's been playing his heart out. And it's earned him the Player of the Month award for the East. Trey Young. It's clear that he's a key aspect of their offensive success. His decisions with the ball are what creates opportunities for himself and the rest of his teammates. Now here's Young. Last game out, 36 points for him. From the line, another shot. And Capella gets it to go. And that work was done early as Capella just fought for his position down low. Tries the nine-footer. MP again. MP's got eight. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Young, the pass to Griffin. And the layup is good off the glass. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. MP shot is off. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. And he handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Here's Murray. And again, it's Atlanta. And that's where Murray can take his jump shot comfortably in the mid-range. Pass to MP. 
And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. Now here's Young. He's averaging almost 35 a game. A crucial player for them. And it looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Now here's MP. Ten points for him. It doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Capella. And one thing you like about Capella, he really understands who he is as a player. Well, this guy is the definition of a rim runner, protects the rim and rebounds. He does all the dirty work for this team, and he's willing to do that. That's how he makes his living. Griffin against MP. And he drops in the layup off the glass. MP's got 12 points. Such a well-rounded player. MP with his fingerprints just all over this game. Young, the pass to Griffin, and the foul called on MP. That's foul number two for him. Now with two fouls here in the first quarter, everything changes for him. He's got to be more careful on defense. Akongwu's checked in for Atlanta. Sadiq Bey comes in for Griffin. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Reed's checked in. Bey, good. Times that Bay would pass on the mid-range, now he's settling in. MP inside. Bay's there. Count it. 14 points for him. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Pass to Okongwu. MP against Bay. On the wing, Murray. There's the triple. Minnesota with a rebound. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. To the inside, Young. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Young's got his second basket of the game. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. MP against Bay. Here's MP. And the shot goes down. MP. They have no answer defensively inside. And Young has got the ball here for the Hawks. Trailing by five. They're coming off that loss against Philadelphia. On the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. Well, let's hope there isn't any carryover from that letdown in this one. Here's MP following the score by Atlanta. He's got another one. MP. That's 10 for 15 now. I love this game plan. That's 10 points in a row from in close. Bay outside. Three-pointer. And Hood Shafino pulls it down. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this MP. time, but they give it to him again. I, I bet three points are coming. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Outside Murray. Over Edwards. Can't hit it from 12 feet. Murray's gone two of five from the field here. MP inside. Guarded by Young. MP again. And now it's a nine-point Minnesota lead. Atlanta's gone one of four from deep. Outside Young. Inside. Outside for Bay. From deep. Gets the three ball to go. Bay's got five points. And Bay doing a great job of getting his feet ready to line that one up. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just... The talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. Johnson is out there with Clint Capella. And it's Griffin in at the three spot. So that's the Hawks five. MP. A nice shot by MP. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Thanks, guys. Well, MP in their last time out against the Jazz was all business. 
He scored 28 points and also helped on the glass, hauling in three boards. His relentless approach has just worn teams out lately. He is winning the battle of wills. Brian? Yeah, spot on, Ali. He was aggressive in that game. Really took initiative. He really made an impact. And he'll be looking to repeat that kind of performance again tonight. Every teammate in talking with them before the game says how much faith they have in him. They'll keep getting it to him. Edwards against Murray. Yeah, good anticipation helps Edwards see the shot forming. Then his speed gets him there for the block. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough MVP. physical defense. Assistant. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Minnesota. Well, so far, they've been immensely aggressive on the defensive side. Denying easy shots, and it's made a difference in the game. Well, right away, they've been hassling ball handlers, just swarming defense and very active with their hands, looking for any chance to force any kind of turnover. And the Timberwolves making a change here. And with the surge in scoring around the league, Brett, what's the key to modern NBA defense? Great question, B.A. I mean, you have to have versatility. You have to have coaches that can get creative. And you got to have players who are wanting to buy in on the defensive end. You just cannot give great scorers in this league, as a ton of them, a steady diet of shooting from three. And you got to keep them guessing. Yes, it's good. Young's got his third basket of the night. I love it. His love for the game couldn't be more obvious. It helps him make a positive impact out on the court. And it also keeps the bench fired up. Quirk in the interior. MP. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Pass to Griffin. That's it. Coming off an assist from Young. Griffin's got seven points in the game. And look at that. The vision is why Trey Young can get you double-digit assists. MP inside. Working on Griffin. MP again. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Griffin with it. Uncovered. Capella, the pass to Griffin. And another shot. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Rudy Gobert picks one up. If Clint Capella gets two feet into the painted area like that, you're going to have to foul. The first one falls. So hits one and misses one at the line. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. Here's MP. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. MP's got 12 points now in the quarter. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. And so it's Young with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. It's a 14-point game. Griffin passes to Young. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. And here we go. The Timberwolves on the run. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Well... Part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. And guess what? Mission accomplished. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. Oh, my. Their coach does not look happy, and I can guess why. Their interior defense has been struggling. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Well, a chance to check out some stats for him. Looking around. Over Edwards. Murray, no good. Not his best night, and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. Oh, wasted no time on that one. MP's got 40 points. Getting buckets at a critical time. Just give him the ball and let him go to work. Young, the pass to Johnson. To the paint. And Griffin slams it in. It's so sick. 
the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. Here's MP. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. MP. One shot. have to admire MP's obvious love for the game. This guy just wants to get out there and play hard. Young, the pass to Capella. Griffin outside. Step back shot. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. I'm shocked he missed that wide open look. He has to feel embarrassed he blew that one. And MP with a basket on the assist from Towns. MP's got 45 points. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Here's Young. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got rebound number seven tonight. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. MP. Soft touch MP. off the glass. MP's got 47 points. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Murray passes to Griffin. Oh, the Hawks again cannot hit it. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Goes up with it. MP shot is off. And the Hawks shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. Back to Young. To the middle. And it's Capella with the jam. And what timing. Capella getting up there and capping that one off. <laughs> Man, the defender really went after him. There are so many different ways to build a team, Brett. Making Good trades, tomorrow. you can use the draft, there's free agency. What do you think is the best route? Well, BA, the, the one critical thing that MP. we need to talk about is what market are we in. And that will start to restrict the ways that, or enhance the ways that you can build your team. For those LA teams and the New York teams, it's probably free agency. Memphis, OKC, San Antonio, you absolutely have to hit home runs in the draft. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, when you talk league expansion, Seattle and Las Vegas are mentioned, but Mexico City is another strong candidate. Commissioner Silver said, quote, I feel our manifest destiny. So it's Minnesota leading by 17 at the score. 48, the Timberwolves, 65. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Hey, you look at MP in this game, he's been everywhere. He's been excellent at cutting through the defense and giving them fits around the basket. And hey, you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. Kicking off the second half, here's Chris Finch's five. Inside, we got Towns and Gobert. Then there's Edwards, then it's MP, and it's Hood Shafino in at point guard. Murray finds Griffin. The shot from the low post is good. Griffin's got 11 points. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Oh, connects again. <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. Young, the pass to Capella. Back to Young. Fires from the line. And down it goes. Two points. He's got nine. Great to watch Trey Young set plays up on a nightly basis. Down low. And Minnesota again with a bucket. Now, there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Outside Johnson. 
first minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. Looking to end this cold spell. And Murray finishes inside. Murray's got his third bucket of the night. And how about that? Coming out to start the half, a perfect three of three. MP. The shot misses. Oh, great D that time from Griffin. Their first miss after hitting three straight shots. But I like their aggressiveness coming out of the half. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got eight rebounds in the game. MP against Capella. To the paint. Here's Towns. And it's Towns with the power finish. Yeah, strong flush from Towns. I like whenever he plays with an edge inside. Edwards against Murray. And Griffin slams it in. And he's playing the game with a certain flair right now. Oh, he caps off the move with a little hang time on the rim. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And the defense knows they got to cover MP very close, but he gets physical and exploits the coverage there for a foul. He's off on the second. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Pass to Griffin. And Hood Shafino pulls it down. Hood Shafino's got four rebounds in the game. Edwards finds MP. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Capella with the defensive effort. Here's Griffin. Back to Young. And here's Griffin. 13 points in the game. Misses from short range. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time, they're not backing off. MP with it. Picked up by Griffin. Here's MP. The Timberwolves again can't hit. The Hawks have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Outside Murray. To the inside. All right, looking at the 2K leaderboard. These are the squads who bring it on defense. The blocks leaders. The Timberwolves, number one. And what's been most impressive about this team is how intense they've been on a defensive end. It's not just one or two guys getting blocks for them. It's been a team effort, which is why they lead the league in blocks per game. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Gars is checked in. Outside Edwards. On the wing, MP. Defended by Griffin. MP inside. Working on Griffin. MP shot is off. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Here's Murray. Oh, good D by Edwards. The Timberwolves shooting has been great this game, 58%. MP with it, picked up by Griffin. MP against Griffin. Took the opportunity when he saw it. MP's got 55. He's carried much of the scoring load tonight. And with the win in reach, don't expect him to let up. Murray inside. Guarded by Edwards. Here's Griffin. Boy, it's been a tough game for him offensively. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. And MP throws it down. And he's not the flashiest, but MP can punch his ticket when the time comes. And so it's Young with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. Timeout, timeout, now a timeout Atlanta. called by Atlanta. Yeah, he's hurting the team. Taking low percentage shots, failing to make the next pass. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Reed's checked in for Towns. Hachimura comes in for him. Here's Murray. Murray the two and Griffin the three. Clint Capella out there with Johnson. And it's Young in at the one spot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. 
Just five to shoot. Outside Murray. Launches it. The offensive rebound. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. Good job sealing down low Defensive as Capella foul. is one of the Rudy more prolific Gobert. rebounders Third in the person. NBA. Team and first. some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. Well, they've done some damage down there in the post, and they're converting everything on the block. Well, we've also seen them being very aggressive down in the paint. All game long, they've been hunting down those inside points. Here's MP. MP right MP. through him. MP, does he want it more? He might. That's a grown man move. And for Atlanta, they're shooting about 43% on this one. Young, the pass to Johnson. Pass to Murray. On the take. Minnesota with a rebound. On the wing, MP. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. And good! There's another! Oh, make that 61 points. Everything is going his way right now. Doing more work in the painted area. He has really excelled inside. Here's Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. I'll tell you what. It's good to be his age. Yeah, I don't have memories like that at my age, though. <laughs> Here's MP. Rebounded by the Hawks. Griffin's got five rebounds tonight. To the middle. Back to Capella. And stolen by Gobert. MP outside. Pass to Hood Shafino. And there's a three second violation. And let's see what the Minnesota Timberwolves have coming up. On Tuesday, they'll be playing the Rockets in Houston. And then on Saturday, the San Antonio Spurs come to town, kicking off a homestand for them. For Atlanta, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Edwards against Murray. Over Edwards. Murray, no good. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting about 56% in this one. MP inside. Working on Griffin. Tries again. Griffin pulls down the board. He takes it in. Pass to Capella. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. MP with it. Defended by Griffin. MP against Young. Here's MP. No problem on the jumper in close. MP's got 15 points here in the second half. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to be on Carl Anthony Towns. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. For Minnesota, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. MP inside. Defended by Griffin. MP no good. The Hawks shooting only 42%. Edwards against Murray. Over Edwards. Atlanta again missing. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. MP rebounded by the Hawks. Capella's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Young finds Murray. Fires at the elbow. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. Towns has got rebound number seven tonight. And the ball out of play. The Hawks will have it. And 
and so it's Young with it. He brings it up for Atlanta. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Pass to Griffin. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got assist number seven tonight. Well, this team has trusted Young's ability to run an offense, and that includes him finding teammates. Hey, rejected by Capella. Inside, here's Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. Murray electric that time playing above the rim. On the wing, MP. And he can't get that one. Capella with the defensive effort. Outside Young. To the inside. The jump hook. Capella can't get it to go. Minnesota shooting around 30% since the fourth quarter got underway. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. That's a flagrant one foul. You know, it's just hard to watch a player put the well-being of an opponent at risk. He rightfully earned that flag. Yeah, the officials are all over that one, sending a clear message that that kind of roughness is unacceptable. First free throw is good. They're really shooting better from the free throw line since halftime. That's a big plus if you're holding a late lead. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Hey, when you start locking it down at the line, Good things tend to happen. Reed's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. And Minnesota calls time here. Get on your feet and make some noise. And now we present our new balanced player of the game, MP. This is special. We are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight. He is like levels above everyone else on the floor. Something must have clicked for him in warm-ups tonight. He's just come out and he has run wild. Wow, did this game really turn out to be his show? A commanding performance like that makes for a sweet victory, especially on the road. the jump hook MP. and the Timberwolves lead by 14 credit the plays they're calling for getting him right now some good shots Griffin on the wing to the middle Capella can't get it to go gotta appreciate the aggressive defense he brings well it's about the defensive end and that's what guys feed off he gives the effort down there at all times Here's MP. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. MP's got 12 now in this quarter. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. And he lobs it up to the rim. And it's Capella with the jam. Well, Capella is in a great system here. He's a rebounder. He's a shot blocker. He can run the floor. And he takes a lot of shots he knows he can make. Pass to MP. Let's it fly. Yet another bucket. 71 points and no end in sight. He's in the zone. The defense looks helpless. Murray against Edwards. Let's it go from 11. No good off the back of the rim. The Timberwolves have gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Two minutes remaining in the game. Here's MP. Good! MP. That's another bucket. And he is simply unconscious. Nobody can stop him right now. Boy, the points keep coming, and he's climbing that scoring ladder. Third on the list, well in sight. Griffin's shot is off. And the Timberwolves with possession. They've outscored them 10 to 2 during this run. MP against Griffin. MP, the pass to Reed. Back to MP. Clock at six. Unloads. Rebound Atlanta. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Timberwolves.
And of course, they really dominated in the paint tonight. They obviously came in looking to impose their will, attack the heart and soul of that defense, and it led to a lot of good looks. And this win will give them 12 on the year thus far. And against a non-conference opponent, you really want to win the first one. They'll go into the next one knowing how to beat this team for sure. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for MP. The scoring effort from him, unreal. Carrying this team, I mean, he was amazing tonight. And good passing in the paint may be even more important to an offense than great passing on the perimeter. Those are areas where you got to be careful. MP inside. Young's there. MP shot is off. Here's Atlanta with the ball. They trail by 16. Here's Griffin. Reed with the rebound. On the wing, MP covered by Johnson. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three second call. So we see the Timberwolves taking the W here. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you later.